Art Kids. Welcome to Countdown to Christmas with Advent Blocks. We're looking for Advent Block number three. Let's see. When we turn Advent Block number three, there's a picture of some colorful stars. Now let's find story number three. God's pretty crazy promise. The story of Abraham. After the big flood in Noah's time, things got better for a bit, but not completely. God was still far away, and God's world, which was supposed to be filled with light and laughter and beauty, was still filled with wrong and with darkness. God was getting ready to do something about it. He was going to prepare a way to be, be with his people again forever. But he wouldn't do it like he did it in Noah's time. No flood this time. This time, God would use the best part of his creation, people. He started with an old man named Abraham. Abraham, God said, I know you don't have any kids yet, but one day you're gonna have a huge family. In fact, you'll have more people in your family than there are stars in the sky. Abraham looked up at the night sky. He didn't even try counting. After all, do you know how many stars are in the sky? A lot, more than a hundred, more than a thousand, more than a million, more than a hundred thousand million. <laughs> Abraham didn't know what to say, but God wasn't done. Abraham, God said, the most important thing isn't even that you'll have a hundred thousand million children and grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren. The most important thing is that one of your great-great-great-grandchildren will be a child who will bring me back to all the people on earth. When this child is born, everyone will say, the king we've been waiting for. Abraham started laughing to himself. His wife, Sarah, laughed too. It wasn't a happy laugh, though. They were laughing at God. Not a good idea, of course. But you have to admit it, it was a pretty crazy promise. Have you ever seen an, an old lady have a baby? Or millions of babies? God came back to Abraham a few more times and he kept pointing Abraham up to the stars. And even though the promise seemed crazy, Abraham believed what God had said, and God was with Abraham. Even though Abraham was too old to have children, even though his wife was too old to have children, even when Abraham started to doubt God's promise, God was with Abraham. Sure enough, just as God had promised, Abraham's wife Sarah got pregnant. She gave birth to a baby boy named Isaac, which means son of laughter. Abraham and Sarah both laughed again, but they weren't laughing at God now. No, they were laughing with God. It was like a glimpse of heaven had started to break through. Maybe, they thought, maybe God really would come back. God told Abraham to do a lot of other scary things like leave his home and go to a brand new place he'd never seen. And Abraham listened. But Abraham did not always trust God fully. He didn't always listen right away. He did many things that made God's heart sad. He sinned in ways that hurt other people. Because of that, when they didn't listen, God seemed far away. So Abraham and Sarah came, began to hope and to pray, God, will you come back to stay? And that's story number three. <laughs> 